first at six, faculty and friends continue to mourn Jackson Prep athlete Walker Wilbanks. His death sending shockwaves in the high school athletic community as coaches wonder if they need to do things differently to keep their athletes safe. 16 WABT Scott Simmons is live at Brandon High School. A junior high football jamboree currently underway here in Brandon and on that field and on the sidelines. An abundance of caution making sure that all the athletes here are doing everything they can to remain properly hydrated. Walker Wilbanks is passing, causing many to wonder what can be done to keep something like that from happening again. Number 65 for Jackson Prep playing on a Mississippi summer night Friday. But Walker Wilbanks fell ill right after these images were recorded. He was taken to a hospital after feeling nauseous and complaining of a severe headache. Doctors confirm he had hypotetrema, too little sodium in the bloodstream, and then too much water. Basically what happens is the sodium level in his body uh, went down to a point uh, that water shifted from his blood to the cells in his brain. It's causing coaches like Clinton High School's Judd Boswell to wonder. I don't know what else we can do. He says they were already well aware of the importance of keeping athletes properly hydrated. During practice when they when they're practicing, they have to be hydrated after practice. When they go home, those guys have got to get plenty of fluids in them and plenty of food in them, too, as well. But principals and athletic directors from across the state were talking about Walker Wilbanks' case during a meeting of the Mississippi High School Activities Association. What can be taught from this? Well, again, it's just an, it's always an awareness. And, and most of all that has to do with having common sense, I think. And, uh, you know, when it's an extremely, extremely hot, then show your practice a little bit. Walker Wilbanks' doctor says even if paramedics would have taken Walker to the hospital, it was probably too late to reverse the effect of the loss of sodium in his bloodstream. He did something that people do all the time. He did everything the right way. And, you know, there are times when there's just not an answer medically. And I think that's what we're dealing with here. Dr. Presser says Walker's symptoms at first would have been hard to recognize and the low sodium in his bloodstream only detected after lab work at the ER. Still, coach is certainly very much aware that they need to be very cautious with it being so hot and those players on the field. Live in Brandon, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News. Absolutely, Scott, thank you.